capturing birds in flight can be a rewarding and exciting experience. From the moments of swooping on their prey to just gliding through the sky, it takes practice and patience to improve your skills with your camera. In this video, I'll be sharing some of my most commonly used settings for my Nikon D850 when photographing birds in flight. But you can also apply these settings to other brand cameras as well. So one of the things I really love about photography, in between doing sunrises and sunsets, I love to grab a hold of my Nikon D850 with the 8400 mm lens. And because we've got beautiful bright blue skies, I like to get out and do some bird photography. As well as along this area here, I've got some nice type of foliage. I like to do a bit of macro. Today what I'm doing is I'm just gonna hang around the foreshore here. It's low tide at the moment at Bagara in Queensland, Australia. I did notice before there were some seabirds flying through here. There were seagulls, terns, I had a couple of um, sea eagles as well. Even I just saw a swallow fly through there. I'm just going to perch myself just down the front here and just see what I can get with the Nikon D850. So I found a nice little comfy position here. Now, with the position that I'm in, I never get right up against uh, the water coming in. Firstly, it saves you getting drenched. Second of all, the seabirds tend to follow the coastline and they're looking for their food in the shallow water. So you need to be back a little bit from that because you need to be on this little tiny bit of an angle, like about say 45 degrees. I'll give you an example. Just before, I was just sitting over there and I was looking down this way and I could see these rocks and the water and everything and these two seagulls come flying over the edge and I had my D850 all ready to go and the seagulls were flying straight at me and I was just firing away on group area autofocus. One was a little bit high, the other one was a little bit low. I stuck with the low one and I was able to get the shots that I really wanted because I was able to see his wing formation, his face. So now the settings I've got on the Nikon D850, if you haven't seen the way I'd like to set up the focus settings on the D850, I'm just going to leave a video that I've already done up here for you to have a look at. I'm not shooting in shutter priority mode this time, I'm shooting in manual and I'm sitting at f7.1 and I've got my shutter speed set at 2000. Now I've got my ISO set on auto, so basically the camera's going to pick the ISO for me. I've got my ISO set between 100 and 2000. It's such a bright day, there is no way in the world I'm gonna hit around that 2000 mark. But that's good, because that's gonna keep, here's a cormorant out here, I'm just gonna try and get this shot for you. Just group area, autofocus, just tracking him. Actually, there's two of them. I have seen a lot of black cormorants here as well. It's a good spot to sit and chill out and relax. But yeah, I like to get a nice comfy position. Here comes a whole big group of seagulls. That was pretty good timing. <laughs> While I was doing the piece to camera as well. They're all flying over here and they're coming around to a place called the basin and all the seagulls congregate around the outside as the water comes in and they just have a good old feed so it's good I'm getting them coming along from the north here and they're coming down around the coastline it's a really nice little spot here to get some bird photography done
So when it comes to doing bird photography with the Nikon D850, I get this question asked of me a lot on my channel. And people say, you know, look, when I'm holding my thumb down on the AF on button and I've got group area autofocus activated, do I need to keep holding that down? And yes, you do. You do have to hold that down and because that adjusts the focus as the bird gets closer or further away. And you just fire away on your shutter button. This morning, I was shooting some seagulls over around the basin and I got a few nice shots there and you know some shots where they were flying away and I got the beautiful reflections of the water as well as there was a nice little turn sitting there on a rock as well and I was having trouble with the focus I couldn't work out what's going on I was doing the same type of thing that I tell you guys all the time hold down your AF on button activate your group area autofocus and then fire away with your shutter and track the bird but for some reason it wasn't working for me and I couldn't work it out. So I had a look at the camera and I noticed that it was set in AFS, which is autofocus single. What you really need to have it in is AFC, which stands for AF continuous. When it's in AF continuous, you hold down your AF on button, activating the group area autofocus, you track the bird through the sky and that will then adjust focus while you're firing away with the shutter button. Well guys, I'm gonna leave it here from Bagara in Queensland, Australia, just doing a little bit of seabird photography with the Nikon D850. Never stop creating. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.